Good day everyone! Today, I am going to demonstrate the movement concept. So, what is the definition of movement concept? According to what I have researched, movement concept forms the fundamental of movement experience necessary to develop more specific fundamental skills. In this process, children will develop and increase awareness of understanding the body as a vehicle of movement and also personal vocabulary in movement skills. If in mathematics, there is one, two, three, and in literary, there is A, B, C, in physical education, there is the basic movement concept. To move, we need something to move, and that's the body, we need a place to move. And that's the place we need energy to move. And that's the effort. And often we move in relation to people, objects, and ideas. And that's what we call the relationship. The four basic movement concepts are the body, the space, the effort, and the relationship. These four concepts has its own categories, subcategories, and elements. The category of the body are body parts, body shapes, actions of the body parts, and actions of the whole body. In body, it includes the head, the neck, the shoulder, the elbows, the hips, the knees, and the feet. Next is the body shape. It is how wide you move or narrow or twisted or even symmetrical or asymmetrical. This forms a silhouette or a form of the body in space. Next is the actions of the body parts. The movement elements include weight bearing, receive force or weight, apply force, lead action, and weight transfer. Next are the actions of the whole body. It includes non-locomotor, locomotor, and manipulative skills. In non-locomotor, it includes stretch, curl, twist, turn, push, pull, and others. In locomotor, it includes walk, Run, hop, jump, cartwheel, roll, gallop, beer walk, grab walk, skip, slide, rock, and many more. And in manipulative, it includes throwing, rolling, striking, kick, Valley, catch, chop, dribble, carry, and many more. The next concept is the space. It includes location, direction, level, pathway, plane, and extension. First is location. It is either described as cell space or general space. Cell space are also called personal space. The personal space is the personal bubble that surrounds and moves with the performer. In general space, it is all about the area available for movement such as the gymnasium, boundaries, or a court or field or even a dance floor. Next 
is direction. The elements includes in the direction are forward, backward, sideways up, sideways down, clockwise, and counterclockwise. Next is level. The elements including in level are low, medium, and high. Next is the pathway. The elements includes in pathway are straight, curve, and zigzag. Next is the plane. The elements includes in plane are sagittal, frontal, and transverse. In sagittal, it is a vertical plane dividing the body into left and right. Half movements such as flexion and extension will occur in sagittal plane. Next is the frontal plane. It is a vertical plane that divides the anterior and posterior halves of the body. Next is the transverse. The transverse plane, it divides the body into top and bottom half. The next concept is the effort. The categories includes in effort are time, force, flow, and focus. In time, there is fast and slow. In force, there is hard and soft. Next is the flow. The elements in flow are bound and free. The example of a bound is punch and in free the example is slash is the focus the elements includes are direct and indirect and the last concept is the relationship it is being aware of your body in relation to other people the objects and recognizing your movements in space it is how your body relates to other objects an example for it is a stationary object a stationary means that it stays still or in one spot like standing beside the chair the chair is a stationary object and my body can move in different ways and I recognize that I am standing beside a chair. Sometimes that the object can even move. Also, an example is the ball from sports where your body is in relation to the other object. It could be a basketball like when you shoot it, it is in relation to the ball the ball might be above you or below you, like a soccer. Relationship, the categories are people, position, timing, goal, and environment. In people, it includes solo, partners, group, alone in mass, Individual to group, group to group, triangle, circle, square, and scattered. These are the four movement concepts and the categories, subcategories, and movement elements. So I hope you learn from my discussion. Thank you.